since you asked for one. And I'll give you one for spelling purposes. <laughs> and I'll give you one so that you can make an appointment with us. So I'm Gerard Dubois. I am the new uh, Springvale Veteran Service Officer. I work for the Maine Bureau of Veteran Services. I don't work for the VA. Our office is completely separate uh, from the VA, but we are considered a partner with the VA. Um, why it's important to know that, sometimes <laughs> folks have, um, you know, bad experiences with the VA or whatever, and we're, uh, we, we, we bear the brunt of some of those things. We are, here, we are here to help you. Every state, by law, must have a veteran service organization. Whether ours is called the Main Bureau of Veteran Services, New Hampshire's is called something else, and but essentially it's the same thing. Our job is to help veterans from our state, surrounding states, access their, vet, their benefits. We don't, there's no financial incentive. I mean, but if you guys are kicking around 500. <laughs> just, I, just, I thought I'd try. Um, but our job is to help you figure out what your benefits are. And it's not just, um, it's not just with claims, disability claims. It, it's, it's much more than that. I had a young lady, former Marine veteran, that uh, she's in a crazy... Every day through our door comes a crazy... something that we would not have seen coming. And this young lady came. She was escaping an abusive husband with a child. Um, and after probably 30 minutes of talking to her, she looked at me and she said, wow, you're not just a VSL. And I had her set up with, you know, uh, uh, housing a place to live that was safe, secure, um, and, and we were going to be able to get her, you know, assistance with the, for her child and food and work. And so even though a lot of times we shake our head at some of the questions that we get because um, some of them are pretty amazing. Um, we, we're here to help and we do the best that we can. I'm very, very fortunate to have a, my administrative assistant, Nicole, some of you have met. Um, she is, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do the job by myself. I treasure her and um, we, we, at any given time, we're, we're tra tracking over 280 claims for our office. So within the York County area, there's usually about 280 claims that are um, being worked on, tracked, and every one of those claims is important to us. It's more important to the individual, but every one of them is important to us, and we want to be able to help folks out, and I'm just... I'm just saying, understand from our perspective, um, you know, what it is that we're dealing with and, and we're trying to do. With the, um, the presentation with Northeast Passage and some of the other discussion that I, I've 
been listening to you. I was really here, happy to hear some ice fishing discussion earlier. Um, we, the, the main Bureau of Veteran Services is starting a new, a new program. We're calling it Project Welcome Home to where every veteran that uh, gets out of the military and comes back to the state of Maine will be getting uh, a phone call uh, within 30 days of coming back to the state, uh, again at 60 days and again at uh, 180 days. And kind of what that is for is to reach, to reach out to them, let them to, to welcome them home initially, but also let them know that um, there, there are some resources and services that are available to them. And you know, one of the things that I want to do is I definitely want to encourage them to seek out veteran service organizations and uh, start trying to push some, some younger veterans into the, into the, the, VSO, the veteran service orgs and uh, to keep the, the bloodline moving. With the PACT Act um, activities, we're absolutely swamped. Um, I'm currently scheduling right now out into the middle of March. We try to keep it at two weeks, but I'm starting to feel more and more like a dentist. Um, you know, when, when, you come, when you come see us for the initial appointment and getting information and, uh, you know, get, putting forms together and stuff like that, we like to make that follow-up appointment at that uh, initial appointment so that you don't have to wait longer than, than necessary. One of, one of the other things that I really think is important to point out is just because you've got you know, your compensation, you're happy with your compensation, whatever level that might be, it's probably a good idea to see a veteran service officer at least every five years. And the reason that I say every five years is you know, that's plenty of time for things to change and things, new things to have occurred. It's also plenty of time for your health situations and family situations uh, to change. And I like to meet uh, veteran spouses so that they know uh, where to go for assistance and they don't get left holding the bag if something happens um, to the veteran and you know they're, they're in the hospital and they, we got to figure out how to get additional health care or uh, it's, it's not too early to start planning for those, those kinds of situations. Um, so you know, bear in mind, we're here to help. We do the best that we can. I love this job. One of, the, uh, one of my bosses said, I'm, I'm paid to deal with difficult people but not be abused by them. And I'll say one out of every 100 is you know, what I would call a PETA. Um, they're, they're just difficult to deal with and we, we, we go on. I think sometimes they need more love. So um, we're here to help, we're, we're happy to, to see you and I, ha I do have some forms if some folks wanna uh, give us some information for to schedule an appointment, I have some business cards. I'll stick around to the end of the meeting for those that, that might have some questions. Sound good? Thank you, Jerry. Any, any quick questions? We will be available for questions, but any quick questions uh, for Jerry? Do you help with wills and things like that? So there, the, where we usually steer people for wills is to uh, Pine Tree Legal Association. Um, they, they, it's, a, it's kind of a self-service legal help uh, fund in the state of Maine that, that can steer people that way. The, the, the VA 1-800 number, I know whenever somebody says the 1-800 number, <laughs> because you're not going to get somebody for a minute, um, but I do probably two or three times a week have to call the 1-800 the number and stick it out and listen to that terrible music, but when I get to talk to a person, eventually when that, when that happens, um, for the most part, they're able to answer my question over the phone and sometimes I can do it for the veteran uh, without them in the office so um, don't be afraid to use that 1-800 number and uh, see if it can help you out. Tony you had a question? I just want to thank Jerry. He, he's the first uh, veteran service officer and I've been in this office for 52 years to come to the post 
and talk about claims and benefits and uh, VA benefits. So I think he deserves a big hand. Yeah. I will point out, and, and Brian did say this when I when I came up here. Um, I'm I'm, reti I'm a retired Army medic. I grew up in Lewiston. Um, I, I was stationed, you know, all over the place. Spent a lot of time in Alaska. A couple of deployments overseas. Um, but I came back to Maine, uh, looking to help. Uh, I was working in telemedicine at the time, and. I just I wasn't I wasn't feeling it for telemedicine and I and I moved into this position because I knew that that I would be helping folks out and uh, I do feel very appreciated in this job so thank you I hope to see you in the office let us know if we can help. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you.